Yeah, I, um, I was feeling just a little bit evil today, so I thought I'd do a, a video. And first of all, for those of you who don't believe that I am in Australia, Melbourne, Australia, well, uh, here's the phone book. And here's the water. Australia, Australia's purest water. Um, and if you still don't believe me, oh well, whatever, I don't give a fuck. I'm here. Um, anyway, yeah, I, I was actually buying this other water at this, like, some kind of deli, it was like called Fine Food Deli or something, it was reverse osmosis water, but I can't really find that water any, in any of the health food stores here, I don't know why, uh, maybe I haven't looked hard enough, but anyway, the controversy on that is that it's dead water, but then again, you know, you, you you gotta trade one thing for the other so yeah you get dead water but you don't get fluoride or you get fluoride but whatever I don't care um, you just have to do your best I just don't want to drink the tap water I know that um, but that's not what I want to talk about what I wanted to what I was wondering is you know have you ever thought have anyone ever thought about this that if you look at the US you look at a map and you look at all the nuclear plants, energy plants all over the U.S. There's like something like over, well over a hundred of them, in case you don't know that. Um, God, that is nuts. If you think about it, there's really nowhere you can go in the U.S. There's really nowhere you can live without being somewhere near a nuclear plant within, I mean, is there anywhere further than a thousand or more miles? I mean, think about Chernobyl. People that lived even a thousand miles away were affected. You had to be at least a thousand miles away. You know, and even if you could find a place in the U.S., think about the food. You can't really grow food there anymore. You're going to have to, the U.S. is going to have to have all their food imported. And I'm saying this because there's just so many nuclear plants and there's just so much flooding, earthquakes, natural disasters, uh, Plants are getting old, they're cracking, they're leaking. Yeah, I definitely think the U.S. is going to be pretty much uninhabitable um, in the future. Not so far future, probably. And, I mean, Hawaii is pretty far, but I don't know. Do you think the jet stream, I mean, it could from Japan, right? It probably the, the arms from the jet stream break off and go over Hawaii. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do right now. I I do I am getting kind of tired of being here. Really, I think I want to go to Perth because actually there is a nuclear plant in Sydney, and Melbourne's only about five, what, five, six hundred miles. Perth is over a thousand, I think two thousand miles, so I think Perth would be a better better place to be. Um, but that's not, this isn't really what I want to talk about. I think what I want to talk about is overpopulation. And I was wondering if anyone thinks does anyone think that humans should um, be sterilized against their knowledge of knowing about it um, through uh, genetically modified foods? I've thought about this a lot. And even though personally I don't eat, I, at least I don't think I do. Well, I probably do eat genetically modified foods not knowing, but it's not like I eat them all the time. I mostly do eat organic. But even though I actually don't think it's such a bad idea because the problem is when it comes to humans having their rugrats, there's really no controlling it because it's it's an emotional thing 
you see, you can't reason with someone who's emotional. So you tell someone that the, the earth is overpopulated and it goes against their belief system, their religions or what have you, they're going to get emotional about it. And then they're going to, they're going to get, um, you know, irrational about it. They're not going to think rationally about it. And if you look at all the, um, using up of all the natural, you know, limited resources, the finite resources, you know, blowing up mountains for coal, drilling in the deep ocean for every last drop of oil, going to war with the countries that have oil. Now it's what, Libya going after their oil. It's crazy. When did, where does it end? It can't just go on forever. It's not, you know, forever. It's can't, this unlimited growth system we have just can't keep going on and on forever. It's nuts. And why, why would you want to ha have a bunch of ch children if they're just going to, you know, be hurting, starving and not have enough food or what have you, anything really, resources. It takes energy to grow an economy. So why would you want to do that? Why would you want to, why would people want to have a bunch of children? Well, then you look at Africa and there's these people over there that have kids and you have to wonder what the hell are they doing? They, they're starving to death and they still have them. So that's just how humans are. That's what they do. So I think, you know, the sterilizing humans through genetically modified foods is not such a bad idea, but I think the nuclear thing is probably even better. Um, anyway, yeah, uh, yeah, so if you, um, I mean, if you have the money and you can support yourself and a child, I mean, a child, because if people should only have one, um, then why not just, you know, go to the doctor and, and get impregnated through, um, you know, artificial insemination. And that way the child would be, could be selected and it could be exactly perfect. It wouldn't have any diseases or deformities. Um, because most people are diseased and most people do have deformities and this might sound crazy, but, um, I actually don't find very many people attractive. Pretty much none of them are even people who are supposed to be attractive that are, you know, like celebrities and stuff. I don't see, I don't see it. I don't see anything attractive about any of them. None of them. They're just, they're ugly. Um, and if you look at the general population, it, it looks even, it's even worse than that. I mean, but of course, celebrities are fake, look very fake to me. And the general population look very, like, disgusting, like, almost like looking at a piece of shit. I'm not even kidding. That's that disgusting. Most people look that, just that disgusting. And, um, you know, I, I, I think I'm asexual. So, which to me means that. I'm not sexually attracted to anybody. Um, the only, pretty much the only boyfriends I've ever had have been either, you know, gay or bisexual. And that is because I pretty much, the guys that I do find cute, attractive, and, you know, and cute are gay or bisexual. So yeah, um, and that doesn't do me much good because, um, my little two incher doesn't get hard. It's pretty much a limp noodle. So, um, yeah, I have a, a two inch clit or whatever. I call it my two incher, but you know, it's technically a clit, but I mean, only if it got hard. I mean, sometimes I think it's, it's bigger than these little penises that I see once in a while. Um, anyway, but not to get off the subject, um, hmm. Yeah. Most people in the general population are really disgusting. Um, and I think I'm very fortunate in a way because my, in my family history, um, there's not a lot of disease. It's the disease that is in my family has been brought on by alcoholism, drug use and diet. There's really not any disease in my family. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I think a lot of people have it in their, their genes, um, problems, health problems and what have you. And that shouldn't be because we have the technology 
to avoid it. And, you know, I don't think it should be anybody else's responsibility. Um, if somebody, you know, has a child and it's sick and it needs med constant medical care, it's very expensive. And I don't think it should be anybody's responsibility. So I think they should all, all child children should be um, selected that way so that they're not sick and they're not stupid and, you know, that they're useful in society and attractive and everything. So, yeah, that's, that's what I think, you know, think what you will, call me what you will, but that's where I see the future going. It's either that or pretty much, you know, extinction because humans can't go on the way they are. It just isn't going to work. So, yeah, just, just some thoughts. Um, I have other thoughts, but I'm not going to share them right now. I'm just feeling a bit evil. Talk to you later.